parents. You said that your father was 10 years older than your mother. No, I didn't. I said my mother took 10 years off his life. <laughs> you are such a hypocrite. Why is it okay for Mike to date you, but it's not okay for me to date John? Because Mike is not my daughter. Well, neither am I. Well, go ahead and cancel the date with Mike, because now I'm dead. <laughs> Meanwhile, man, it's been two whole days and Maggie's still not talking to me. No, I didn't try and bribe her with a salty pretzel and an egg crepe. <laughs> and thank you very much. Do you know how many years it took me to stop solving my emotional problems with food? <laughs> Don't yell at me with your mouth full. <laughs> goodbye, goodbye. All right. Fran, Mom. forget about Maggie. I'm here and I think you're great. In fact, I think you're the right, best guy. You're not going to the makeout party. <laughs> yeah, well, you're on your own. Fran? What, sweetie? Maybe I can give you some advice. Oh? Remember, I had a crush on an older man once. Uh, he used to bring me all those gifts. Sweetie, that was Santa. <laughs> <laughs> Am I ever gonna convince Maggie that she has nothing in common with a 25-year-old? And you do? <laughs> Absolutely. I was 25. Now, for several years. <laughs> I haven't slept for three days. Niles, are you sure this is herbal tea? <laughs> of course. No sleep, and yet I feel oddly calm and relaxed. Miss Bamka. What? <laughs> I just wanted to say that I'm glad you're here because I really need a woman to talk to. Well, aren't you going to say anything? What? You mean because she said that you thought I was going to say something about you not being a woman? That is beneath me, sir. <laughs> Your mind, Nanny Fine. Well, Maggie thinks I'm being hypocritical because I'm dating a 25-year-old and she's not allowed to. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Who's Maggie? <laughs> oh, the big one. <laughs> oh, forget her. So, you're dating a younger guy. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> You know, I think it's far more natural. Women don't even reach their sexual peak until their 30s. Yeah, well, for me, it's happening much earlier. <laughs> oh, girlfriend, you got it going on! <laughs> I'm sorry, I was watching something on Fox before I came over. <laughs> When you were Maggie's age, did you ever date an older guy? Oh, sure. My father didn't care. But the world was a different place when I was a girl. Yes, they thought it was flat. <laughs> you know what? If I was smart, I would just let her go out with the guy. Nanny, fine. Maxwell will kill you. Good idea. Very unconventional. I like it. Now, don't you see? They will have nothing to talk about with each other. She'll get bored and break it up with him all on her own. Of course, I'll have to chaperone with the young, eager-to-learn Mike. <laughs> but it's not as if we don't have a lot of stuff in common. We both dig Tootie and the Blowfish. <laughs> Tea, sir? How's the hearing, you lucky little brat born into money? <laughs> On my right side, I hear fine. 